Hey guys, Metal Jesus here, and time for another Patreon question. This one comes from Yay for Beers! Yay! And he asks, Who is a villain in video games that you felt most sorry for, or felt was somewhat justified in their actions? Man, this is a great question. So to help me answer this, I have assembled the Metal Jesus crew, and we're gonna start with Kinsey. Hey guys, Kinsey here, and my choice for justified bad guy is actually Mario from Donkey Kong Jr. And in Donkey Kong Jr., you know, Mario's the bad guy, it's so weird. And he kidnaps Donkey Kong, and you play as Donkey Kong Jr. to try to save him. But, I mean, let's think about it. In the original Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong kidnaps Pauline, and Mario, slash Jumpman then, he's just looking for a little bit of payback. And, I mean, who's a poster child for more of like, Mr. Wholesome, it's Mario. So you know what, even if he did something bad then, he's definitely repaid that debt. So my choice for justified bad guy is definitely Mario from Donkey Kong Jr. So my villain is gonna be the elusive man from Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3. Uh, I really, I think I really identify with his character, what he, what his cause was. Um, I just love the scenery of him just sitting at his deck and the, and the sun is in front of him. It's just, it's, it's just brilliant. I mean, it's the perfect scenery for a villain. Uh, you don't know what his motives are in the beginning. It's just, I think he's a fantastic villain, uh, elusive man. Hey, how are you feeling? You got John Riggs here in the world of the PlayStation VR. We're talking about villains that are maybe just misunderstood. There are villains in the game, of course, but once you learn their backstory, you find out that there's a little bit more to them, and you might be able to sympathize, maybe even empathize. The guy I want to talk about is Dr. Lobato for the game Psychonauts. Now, he's the crazy villain in there trying to get into your brain. That's what Psychonauts is all about. However, when you play Psychonauts Rhombus of Ruin for the PlayStation VR... That's when you find out about his childhood, his troubled past, the, what his parents did to him. You feel so bad for him, especially as a dad myself. You feel so bad for the kind of childhood he had growing up. So if I had to choose any villain that you feel kind of bad for, any villain that you can sympathize for a little bit, you got to go with Dr. Lobato for Psychonauts. And I don't want to spoil what happens in it. you got to play it for yourself or just look up the video or whatever. But... That's my pick, Dr. Lobato for Psychonauts, especially Psychonauts, Rhombus of Ruin for the PlayStation VR. Now, excuse me, I got a PSVR podcast to attend to. So, we'll see ya. All right, the immortal John Hancock here. Villain I most feel sorry for. Now, I'm kind of cheating, but I have to say Darth Vader. And I know it's from a movie first, but there's lots of video games with Darth Vader as a villain. I really feel for this character. He's, it's it's a tragedy. He's torn, you know. You know, going back to the movies, uh, he was caught between a rock and a hard place, where he was trying to honor his mentor, but doing the right thing. And you know, it just it's, it's just a it's a it's a tragedy what happened to him. And uh, with a happy ending, kind of. And so uh, I, I think definitely Darth Vader is a character that I can relate to. And uh, yeah, definitely feel sorry for him. Understand, understand the path that he chose. And uh, he's my pick. All right, so I know nobody plays Pokemon for the story, and I don't either, but in Pokemon Black and White, the main villain, the leader of Team Plasma, is this guy named N. And, oh my god, did he make me feel like an asshole. He was supposed to be the villain, but basically he was just calling out Pokemon for what it is. It's like dog fighting, right? So he was going around saying Pokemon should be free, and they shouldn't have to battle on behalf of their owners, and there should be a separate world just for Pokemon so that they're not fighting all the time, and I don't know, like, by the end of the game I was kind of starting to agree with him and I felt like a jerk the whole time. Well, I won't spoil the ending or anything, but yeah, I definitely felt like I was the villain throughout that story. So many great games have so many villains and often they are justified. However, there's one game that I felt, well, I was definitely able to identify with and also their actions I feel were completely justified. And that is because I'm talking about Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. This is a Bioware RPG. Now, I want to give a warning here. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. spoiler. If you haven't played this game, I can't really talk about the villain without spoiling the story because you, the player, are the villain. And the thing is, you don't know it in the beginning of this game. 
In the beginning of this game, you start off and you have amnesia and you're kind of taken under the wing of the Jedi and you're having these really weird nightmares where, or bad dreams where you're, you're envisioning all this bad stuff that has happened. Well, halfway through this game, you realize that you are the villain of the Star Wars universe here and the Jedi, they, they brainwashed you or they wiped out your memory to kind of to give you a clean slate. And what's really cool about this game, if you haven't heard already, is that at that point, you're given the ability to either re revert back to your evil ways and become a Sith Lord, or you can say, well, you know what? The Jedi were right all along and perhaps I should take the high road and help them reclaim the galaxy for the Jedi and the light side of the force. Now, for me, when I played this game for the first time, that was revolutionary. And so I chose the dark side. I chose to revert back, uh, basically saying, how dare you, Jedi, take me off of my path of, of conquering the universe and bringing order to all this chaos. And uh, I, got, I got pissed. And so I reverted back to becoming a Sith. And what's fun about this game is that you play along with the Jedi for a while. You don't tell them your intentions, but you are on the path to becoming the Sith Lord and crushing the, that rebellion, crushing those, uh, those terrorists that wiped your memory. And it was so cool. I absolutely love the story. I love this game so much. And this was uh, a great excuse to talk about it. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and take care. Now, sadly, the second game, Knights of the Old Republic 2, was handled by a different developer and was rushed. And so it didn't have the same kind of polish and also impact that the original had. It did have some really interesting ideas. It went a little bit further with morality, which I liked quite a bit. But in the end, it just wasn't as good as the original. Yeah, kind of a bummer. But love to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching.